All right, we're back. Episode two, season two. I can smell a dog that just walked in here. But uh, of course, we gotta start every um, show with uh, big baby news. Uh -huh. Have you been paying attention? No, what are you doing? Now? Well, he's in Croatia right now. Um, are you? Well, you're supposed to, but he set up the first game because he wants more money. Already? Yeah. So, doesn't look good right now. That, that's the last report of a Big Baby is that he set out the game, demanded more money in Croatia. Don't they didn't say what the numbers were, but... Uh, they don't be playing over there. Well, I ain't say he wanted more money. He had to sign him before he got over there. Well, he did sign, but then apparently he's like, changed his mind. He's like, nah, I want more. After you sign a contract? That's what the article says. They gonna cut him. Well, we'll see what happens. That just uh, that was from six days ago, and there hasn't been any updates. Yeah. So, uh, Damn. So, uh, news comes kind of slow out of Croatia, I guess. But uh, a lot of people watched it. Watched our uh, last show. For real. A lot of people. Some, some liked some it. Some mad. didn't like it. Yeah, so I heard some people. I, I think we, I think we should start uh, with. Um, what I heard about yeah, what from third about? parties, uh, Frank from OW not happy with uh, you saying he's not Division One material. He's definitely not. He came out and said that himself. Oh, he's not. So why do you? Uh, Wait, do, you, do, you do you want to Wait, clarify? I was going to ask you if you want to apologize or clarify. Okay, a D one player. Okay, let's just, let's, let's just. Okay, I just give you a prime example. It's two thousand eighteen now. I came out 2006. Yeah. I came out high school in 2006. I averaged 26. Okay. In high school. In high school. Okay. And I only had like three Division One, and they were small D ones. Okay. So. And what class was your high school? Four A. Four A. Okay. Twenty six and four A. Okay. Okay. It's a twenty six one A. Same. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. A little putt putt league. Gotcha. Four A. So then. You turn around 2018, you don't even average 20 points and you're a D1 player? Impossible. You have to, like, no matter what type well, of... I mean, who? If you know, show me a D1 player right now that didn't either average 12, 13 assists okay. or over 20 points, why is he... Why, who's going to recruit you? I mean, who? So they really look at scoring. That's what... That's, that's what D one is about so like scoring. So pretty much any D one. You gotta be able to. You gotta be able to score one. You gotta be a threat at every aspect. Of Even the if game. you're not the primary threat. I mean. Yeah, you gotta be a threat. Now you got some school. Okay, uh, well let's just say you want to say, what's a small D one school like? Let me think of something. I don't even want to say say state because state got some scores. Some dudes who can really go. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think of a, a school where, okay, he played point guard. You match him up against Nile from State right now, or Rayshawn McNeil from State right now. He's dead, dead. He can't, he can't do nothing. And these boys have been doing that since high school. Both of them. Both them. He's dead. He probably done played against you know a couple times, so he should know. That's what I'm yeah. saying. When you play on that type of level, he done played against him. He should know, like, this is what I need to work on. This is what I need to work on. He can't shoot. According to last year, or have you seen him recently? I'm, I haven't seen him this year. You saw him like beyond the, the church league. Yeah, yeah. He looked like a regular basketball player. He looks regular. He, he can shine at a D2 or D3 school. So I'm yeah. not saying he's garbage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying a D1 <laughs> player, he's not even better than Pam was. Come, oh, yeah. Yeah, come to think about it. You think about yeah, the game. Yeah. Pam had 20 something on him. Who was guarding yeah, Pam? Yeah, Pam? Yeah, I guess. Who was on Pam that game? I'm guessing him. Uh, he, he's point guard. Yeah. Yeah, his team won because they had a, a better yeah. team. Frank might have had what? Did he yeah. score double digits? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. I, like, I, I, have to, I don't want to. I don't want to. I know they won. I, yeah, I know they won, but I don't want to say he scored. I don't even remember him scoring double digits. Neither one of them games. I, I know, I mean, I know he stood up to me the first game of the season. I was like, this guy, is, yeah, he, he, contro he controls everything. I mean, that's what he's that, yeah. he good at. Like, he, uh, that's he good like at. I was saying last episode. Oh, then come to think about it, you know, what he's probably saying that is his grades. They told me he got straight A's. 
Okay. Well, I don't know. Now, somebody did tell me that. Now, I don't know if they're true or not. They did say that. I believe it. So, if you got straight A's, a uh, coach don't have to give you money. So, you could be a well, D1 I'm, player. I don't know how that works. That's what I'm saying. You could be a D1 player, and you ain't getting no money. Because, well, I mean, you, because you were good enough in the class. You got a full ride no matter what. Because of academics. So, a D1 school would be like, okay, we'll take a chance on it. We ain't got to give him a scholarship. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. So, yeah. I'm not saying he's, once again, I'm not saying he's sorry. They can only give but, out so yeah. many. Yeah. Let's say you get 10 scholarships, let's say 8 scholarships, and this guy right here got straight A's. That's kind of like, okay, well, really, I got nine because I got a player who don't, I don't got to pay nothing for. Which is a plus, you know what I'm saying? Not saying my grades is good. Yeah, like you give yourself so, more options. Yeah. But he's not even, Frank is like my height. You got point guards out here now, 6'4 and above. Right? Yeah, I mean, but like. So you got to be like, like, you got to be doing, okay, okay. He says he, he says he's D1 material. Okay. What happened when you played against John ja Morant? Who's that? From, uh, so. Oh, yeah, I don't know. He's already on, uh, they got him, they say next, the season hasn't even started yet. Okay. And Bleacher Report got him number 23 going to the Lakers next year. And he plays at Murray State. The youngest ever have a triple double, and he had a, he had two triple doubles on OW when they played. That was a year before. Yeah. So okay, now I got so to you, 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 yeah, we talk about we talk about that's when you know okay. He had the 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 Murray State coach sitting on the sideline. Okay. Yeah, but he's a sophomore. But Frank was he's a sophomore. So he's now he's a, Frank was a sophomore. Though. So Frank is a what is he's yeah. gonna be a senior now, right? Yeah. So, so he, he was a sophomore a, then. So that's yeah. not a so, fair matchup. But. John Moran is a sophomore, 20 something. Junior, 20 something. Senior, 20 something. Yeah. You got to see the progression. Gotcha. You go from eight to, I don't, honestly, I don't even remember him. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't even remember him. I didn't, he didn't, to me, he didn't hit the scene till last year. That don't usually happen with D1 players. We know some oh. seventh, eighth grade. That's probably usually big men that yeah. just we, we will start seven, playing in like ninth or tenth seven, grade. Seventh, eighth grade, we know like just because they're physically just. Yeah. We know seventh, eighth grade, that boy, seven woods. Yeah. Even though he might not be doing that now, I don't know. I haven't seen North Carolina play yet, but seventh grade. He's you know, not the team. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So if you're saying you're a D1 player, what? You, you should say, oh, damn. When Sam he's talking about D one, is he talking about high D one or is he talking about low D one? That should be your question. Like, you saying I'm not D one? Well, Which level of D one? Well, they all count as D one. You know what I'm saying? They all count. Yeah, they all count, but yeah. you ain't gonna get no numbers. Oh, well, what's your goal? That should be. I mean, I can't. I don't want to speak on somebody else's basketball career because I don't know what they go yeah. is. I don't oh, know yeah. if your goal is to play basketball as a job or you just want to do it while you're in school and then get a regular job. Well, I mean. Because of the reaction, I think he's pretty serious. About basketball, well, yeah. I mean, why would he be offended? He need to work on the game some more. What does he need to do this year? Shoot! Shoot more, score more. Yeah. From everywhere. Everywhere. You make a highlight tape right now, nothing is going to make me say I need him. Other than compared to what Pam has. Man, he can't yeah. see. That's not even a comparison. But that's what I'm saying. I'm that's not a comparison. comparison. That's not even, I can't even, I can't even use that because Pam wasn't just a scorer. Because he did everything. Like, he could get in the lane and actually make you be yeah. like, okay, this kid right here can create for me and he yeah. can score for me. Oh, yeah. All the day you could do for me is play defense. Because, and that's in a system defensively because of their coach. So they play great defense. Don't get me wrong, they play great defense. But when you go back to the offense and win, okay, let's see what you're going to do. Well, I thought, you know, I, as far as, like, high school and OW, I thought you did a good job of, like, controlling the team. Mm -hmm. I mean, for high you yeah. know, like, like I, I was comparing with Derek Fisher, just rock so, solid, no mistakes. And that's you a know. D1 player? Well, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, mean, I, think, I, think, I think composure is a big part of, you know, being able to hold your ground and everything. I think that's I think that's a big part, mm -hmm. you know, and then confidence. Never getting rattled? Yeah. Yeah, you, you got, like, a second, like, point guard is second coach on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, he's good in the system. I say he's yeah. good, he good in a defensive system. But obviously, I, you still have to tell me what you can do. I mean, tell me yeah. something you can do, Derek. Well, so, well, hopefully, you work, hopefully uh, 
He really worked out over the summer. And you say he's a senior now. Yeah, I think I'm the summer, yeah. What is he great? I never heard of a D1 have... player not rate. I don't even look at that. Well, let me look it up. All right. I'm just saying, I don't think he ranked. How you gonna be D1 if you're not even ranked? So that, that's usually. I mean, that's, yeah. you got 120. Oh, it goes, that, it goes that deep. Okay. I think it might be even deeper than that. Just for the state or for the nation? I mean, the nation, of course. Yeah. It probably is. It's, it's crazy, probably. Okay. I mean, if you're not even in that. Well, now, I mean, while we're on the topic, um, while you're looking it up. Top high school prospects, okay. basketball in South Carolina. Let's type that in. So, so that way, you see, like, okay, if it may pop up, I'll be like, oh, now we're talking. Let's go 2019. You said OW's for, uh, there's 4A? Is, are they? I don't know. Or are they bigger? I'm 4A. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Cause we played on that one out there, Colin Kelly. Okay, so, so whatever he does for a four A school is going to matter more. Than Absolutely. That. Yeah. So he's obviously in the position to. He can do he's it. He's got the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, he got the opportunity to do it. So he's still got until November mm -hmm. off season, and then. Uh, Cause the only thing that we played, we played them at home second game of the season. We I'm played, just saying. We played, you, you, you ever heard the dude Josiah from Portugal? I remember you talking about him. Yeah, I mean, that was the only person I kept being point guard. Yeah. I mean, not saying he, he's 6'6", six, six, but still, that's the only person I was hearing, like, okay, that's, you know? But I definitely like that. Um, and I ain't even going to talk. Oh, man, I forgot about Buddy from all um, Buddy that played us in the, um, in the, in the, uh, in the preseason thing. What the boy name is. From remember he went to, um. He was going to AC floor. Yeah, AC and he floor, went to yeah, low yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian. Okay. Christian. He's not on his level. No way me on his level. So you got the page now? I'm trying to. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find South Carolina guy though. Oh, okay. 2019 top basketball recruits in South Carolina. Oh, they got a kid from Grady. Josiah J, Porter Guard. That's number one. Six six, number one. Wow. Six six point guard. Yeah. Christian Brown, number two. Small forward. Jawan Gary, Gray Academy. Malcolm Wilson, Ridgeview. Calvin Felder, Sumter. Trey Hannibal, Hartsville. Deuce Dean. Ain't they the same thing as OW? Dutch Fork? I don't, know. I don't know. We always, we always, Hold they're, up. they're always in the tournaments. Yeah, them. Christian Brown is in the same thing as OW. Okay. So, there's two players that we see right here. That that's what I'm saying. Like D1, all these D1s. Well, that's good that now. Um, oh, and then, see, I was I was gonna get I was gonna give them credit just now. I was gonna say, dang, all these boys six four and above. But okay, there's a kid in Blackwood named Trey Jackson, six one. He's ranked number eight. There's another one, Gray Academy. So Gray Academy got two players, uh, six foot, Tommy Bruno, and he's number nine. Nine stop right there. So these are all D ones. So okay. if you're, if you're on the radar, then we can talk. But like I said, I don't know nobody yeah. goals. I'm not gonna shut nobody. Yeah. Confidence down, or, or, or try to say you can't do something. But I'm saying, this is a, your name should be here. Well, I, I hope he really uh, shows out when he comes to the second game of the season. I hope he. Uh, I, I hope so. I, I hope, I hope and, I, and when he do, I will come back on this podcast and be like, "Dang, you, yeah. you did that." I want that to be a statement game yeah. on the road, in front of you. Yeah, I'm right there on the side, man. Because if you go back and look at our team against them, I just said keep backing off. Okay. Go on the screen, man. Yeah. So hopefully he's he's aware of what he had to work on. And, that's what that's what and, uh, I just want to look at him yeah. and say, okay, this player played me this way, this player played me this way. I know what I need to work on. Uh -huh. But they go to the Y and they be killing in the Y going this way and they think they're great. Uh -huh. I yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch. Very deceiving, the Y. I watch my ninth and tenth graders take them to overtime in summer league. 
I remember that. Yeah. That's yeah, this I, this summer got, right here. We got film on that. Yeah. I watched them take them to overtime. Freshman, sophomore. Take up and coming seniors. And a, I, they had on. Um, the dude from Old Derby who played last year, he graduated. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I was like, does he still? Your Highness. Yeah. And they took him to overtime. But you're D1. I mean, uh, well, I have to put it like this. When I walk in the gym, even if I'm not even going to play, and I, I look at the kid, I might not even know, might not know what grade he is. That's anywhere across the country. Yeah. I do it all the time. Okay. Even when I go to these other tournaments, money tournaments, I be like, damn. As soon as I see him play, I be like, oh, yeah. Boy, you in high school? Boy, I already know you're going to be. I ain't even got that. I don't even got action. One kid, I, I never forget. I know. I don't know his name, but he was at one of the tournaments, right? Yeah. He played one game, and he's his daddy was the coach uh-huh. of the team, and he said, uh, "I saw him play." I said, "God damn, bro!" I said, "I said, boy, your son ain't in high school." He said, "He is. He graduated this year." I said, and "You got him playing in this type of tournament?" He said, "Yeah, I just wanted him to see, you know, what oh, it feel like." Oh yeah, games, so, you know. Grown me what I said, boy, this boy out here killing. He's like, I said, what D1 you going to? He's like, Delaware. Delaware State, I think. Oh, wow. But like I say, yeah. I saw him when he was a senior, and I'm like, damn, this boy awesome. And he going to Delaware State. That's not high major. Well, that's why that, that's what I'm saying. Now you see, now you see yeah. like what I mean. And that's why we the show is called Tough Calls. Because yeah. it says some things that uh if you don't agree really with agree with him or you really don't agree with him. If you don't agree with it, show me. So, uh, that should give him a few to say, okay, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to stay out of practice and shoot. I'm going to come before practice and shoot. Because yeah. I got to get my jumper right. But as a senior, you should have already been working on this. This is not going to click overnight. I don't care. You already behind the eight ball. If, yeah. if this podcast make you go start shooting jumpers and the season starts in two weeks, you're behind the eight ball. Well, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully he's been, you know, working on his game, and that was just, uh, you know, like uh, you always look for reasons, yeah. more reasons to really keep you working hard. Now, if he go to sleep at night and grow four inches, <laughs> it's happened before. It happened. <laughs> so while we're um, while we're talking about that, um, the NBA over the summer announced that it's possible that they're going to let high schoolers back into mm-hmm. the league. Started in 2020. Should have been there. So they stopped in 2005. So it means this is going to be a 15 year span where they mm-hmm. didn't allow high schoolers in the NBA. This is more of, I don't know, like it has a lot to do with college too. If yeah. they could just pay the guys, you know, we probably wouldn't have this issue. Them kids shouldn't be in college. Some people, yeah. Every, every player that you know, went to college said when they got to the NBA it was easier. Yeah. Every player who said that, they said, whoa, this. This is way easier. Pick and roll basketball, get the spot, shoot. I got specific things I got to work on. When I'm in college, I got to run with the coach say. I mean, oh, yeah. we running quick hitters in the NBA. You know, mm-hmm. every NBA player say that. They be like, only thing you got to catch up to is the speed. Yeah, because they don't have elaborate plays. You know what I'm saying? So if these kids never had to go through this college stuff of going to class, yeah. knowing I don't want to be here, knowing I'm leaving in one year, yeah. Praying every night I don't get well, a lot of them only go to school for a semester. A semester and they don't go. Don't go to the second. Did you see that thing when you said about Ben Simmons? I think that's where I heard it from. Yeah. Never went to class. <laughs> Never went to class. He was number one pick, right? Yeah. See hey, what I'm well, saying? Hey, why you got it. why you got this guy walking around on camera? This guy can't walk around on camera. You got you got this six nine kid walking in the freshman orientation. Talking about, hey, yo. That's a lot of plays. Yeah, you got a paper to write tonight. (laughs) Man, I'm not writing that, man. Come on, man. Just give me a seat so I can get to eligible to play second semester. Yeah, and like these big schools, they travel so much. Like, I remember when I was in college, Central Michigan, uh, there were some athletes um, in my classes, and they're growing up. I mean, they go weeks about coming to class, not because they don't go to class, but because mm-hmm. they travel so much. When we were traveling, they used to... Especially basketball. Even, work. Basketball, they play multiple games a week. Yep. During the week. So yeah, but, when are, they, but are you... We was D2, we was on a bus. These yeah. D1, they fly. Yeah. So you know they ain't going to be in class. So I don't even understand, like, when would you go to class if you're playing basketball? They expect you to do it on the road. Why you on the plane, on the bus, or... 
in your room, we expect you to be studying. Well, now they got online classes, so I guess that's different. But back then, I don't have one more online classes, but North Carolina, they going back and seeing like, this was a real online class. And then, like, who's, well, then you can just get somebody else to do it. Because they don't know it's you sitting there, eh? unless they're making you record yourself. Nah. Nah. Because I would do that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, why not? I would do that. I'm like, hey, man, I'll pay you. already got a job to do. I'll pay you $100. Just go ahead and do my class, man. And if you get me an A, I'll give you extra. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of those online classes are pretty easy anyway. You just follow directions and turn it in on time. Because, you know, the teachers got to sit there and grade it all so that they can make it harder on themselves. And then somebody, uh, I was uh, getting ready to argue with somebody, and then I told you I wasn't going to argue with anybody no more. So oh, Facebook, yeah. Trying to tell me Jimmy Butler was right. Trying to say Jimmy Butler was right. Oh. For, for um, coming at the boys like that. Well, I like it. I definitely like I, it. So you agree with that? I just I just like the controversy. I like the, um... Do if, you if agree the, with it? If the reports are true, like, I like... Um, anybody who is, doesn't restrain what they say or so, what they think. So, do you agree with them saying it was management or him saying the players are weak, they don't work hard, they don't... Maybe know. to his statements they don't. That's what I'm saying. To his so statements. I'm, I'm, I'm going to believe him. So, I believe... I believe... Okay. Like here, here's Where was Jimmy Butler at 21, 22 years old? Where was he at? He was in the NBA. Where was he at? Chicago, right? I don't know. He was in college, right? Oh, he was still in college? I didn't know he went to college so long. So, you grew more of a man in college. He went to Marquette. Yeah. So I know, because I'm a D-Way fan, so I know I'm playing. Oh, yeah, because he's from there. So, you're a grown man, basically. These are kids. How do you expect them to mature and be like you, you're 28, 29 yeah. years old. But he's got to play with them. You're, you're in a grown man's league now. But these are still kids. They still have to learn. You grow, do you, you grow mature by age. You don't grow mature by being in an area. That's like me saying, okay, I'm 17 years old. Put him in the workforce. Make him go to work every day. He's going to be more mature than a 17-year-old going to high school every day. What do you like him? I mean, not, not, not what you like, like them well, to that's be. Well, that's why you don't want to be there. What probably. you assume, yeah. this is going to happen. You assume that's supposed to happen. But he's still a kid. Yeah, you're right. Then he's saying something about Towns. Was it Towns an all-star? Uh, yeah. Well, did he average over 20? He's a, and he's a big man, so that helps. Did he average over 20? Yeah. Oh, in yeah, the Western he's, Conference? Yeah, he's definitely. They're, he for, averaged over 20 in the Western Conference. For a minute, they're comparing him to AD. Just for he averaged 20 yeah. in the Western Conference. Jimmy Butler, that's not your team. That's Carl Anthony Town team. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's always going to be his so team. So you can, you can get mad all you want. You can say this, you can say that, but it's his team, and he's only 22 years old. You're 29 years old, man, because Andrew Wiggins, another 20-something year, 22-year-old, yeah. got max money, and Carl Anthony Town got max money. So you look for max money? Why would I give you max money if you're 29 years old? Well, you talk about being an adult, well, Wiggins just, uh, I think, his first or second kid is going to be born. So now he's got to be an adult. He's an adult, yeah. but he's still young. You got to think, these are not, these are not, people are thinking like, oh, he's been in the league two years, three years. He's 22 years old. You can say the same thing about Tatum. He's only 18, 18 or 19. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You go by, I hate when people do that. They try to tell me, oh, Jimmy Butler was right. How, so so he right because he's a grown man and these kids. So you want to tell your son, you, you, you can tell your son, oh, yeah, I expect you to be a man. I want you to act just like me. I'm not acting just like you. I'm not old as you. I got to grow. I got to make my mistakes on my own and grow. Yeah. You, at 22 years old, when you was in college, I'm pretty sure the coach probably told you, Jimmy Butler, you ain't working hard enough. Possibly. Pretty sure. You need to work harder. So that, that got instilled in his brain, and he remembered him getting on him when he was in college. These boys have been in the league. 19 years old. So you can't, you, yeah, if I was them, I'd be like, oh, they just stayed in college. And you ain't on the same level as me. And also, also to be fair, um, for them, not every, not every um, player in the NBA actually loves basketball. 
They just happen to, 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 be, be, good. to be qualified to play. Like Andrew Bynum is a great he's example. Oh, like he's, he's more into working on computers, yeah. but he just he's has just to be tall. seven feet and athletic. And it's kind of like the same way as a, somebody who's just being a genius at math, working for NASA, and they hate it. It's just, well, you know, we can not turn, we can turn down the money and turn down exactly. the, the lifestyle and everything. Oh, right, yeah, I'll try it out for a while. You know? And then he said, Byron was talking about you can make a comeback. Yeah, so I heard, I heard, I heard about Towns that. at 22, Jimmy Butler at 29. 29 years old. Yeah. But you're never going to be on the team where everybody is that committed. But when you are, that's the team that's always going to win. This sounds like he's hating me. But I think Golden State is full of players that actually give a crap about yeah, basketball. Yeah, because they, they like the game. Yeah, yeah so, so when you actually when you when you're finally able to build a team, well, whether it's NBA or any kind of business where people actually give a crap, they're successful. So they didn't say they didn't say he was messing with one of them wife or, or girlfriend or something. He took oh uh, Andrew Williams girlfriend or something like that. Oh well, uh, but I'm looking at this. Jimmy Butler was picked round one. He was picked thirty. Yeah, was it Anthony Towns number one pick? Yeah. What was Andrew Wiggins? Well, Anthony Bennett was number one pick so, too. He's not even in the NBA now. Yeah, but I mean, it happened. But yeah. you cannot have these conversations with. Oh, I, I'm a number one pick and I got max money, and I'm 22 years old. Yeah, you're doing something right. So the front office didn't just give me the yeah. money. Yeah, they're. You, they're definitely looking at you to be a franchise player. They're gonna And if they leave Wiggins alone, he gon he gon he gonna work. He's just young. They be like, oh he ain't did this, he ain't did that. He's young. Yeah. Let the man grow. Uh, if he grow to be 23, 24 yeah. years old, I guarantee he'll be averaging 20. Carl Anthony Towns already averaging 20. He can't do nothing to get better. Absolutely. And I watch him play. Nobody can stop him. Nobody. No. Well he's now that there's so few big men, nobody can stop him. Nah. And he got a handle. So I mean, we could, we could. I'm 30, so I could be on Jimmy Butler's side and be like, "Oh man, you right. You, you know, they should pay you." That would be whack. That'd be like, because I'm looking at it like, "Dang, that boy young as hell. You supposed to be trying to build him up. You telling him he ain't working hard in public. Come to me and be like, "Hey man, I don't feel like he working hard today." I'd be like, "Okay." Well, he doesn't want to be there. But you gonna try to bash Mike publicly? He's trying to get traded. And then I saw the thing when he's about to come to Miami. I'm, I'm glad they messed up that trade. We don't want nobody in Miami like that. You ain't gonna be the the D way leaving. You coming in now? I gotta look at you. You ain't nothing but a hater. You a hater now? Yeah, he's kind of. Uh, I'm gonna go on his page and write hater like five times <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, the harder he's trying to leave Minnesota, the um, worse he's looking to other yeah. team. I saw some of the, they said there, there was a report that said he got the, the bench and beat the starter. In practice. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of They had a game and he grabbed it, he got a bench player and they beat the starters. But there's been a you lot really of You really think the starters are going hard at the bench? A preseason. In a in, in, in practice. Oh, of course, Jimmy Butler, you're yelling at management, you're yelling at us. Okay, do your thing in practice, but you won't be playing. That sounds like the uh, NBA 2K uh, storyline when you're trying to make the team. Come on. You gonna go extra hard and I'm gonna be like, man. Dang, bro, relax, bro. Why are you going so hard? Yeah, nobody starts trying until uh, Christmas game. That's when everybody starts trying. They were like, oh, you, you ain't see the report? The bench players and Jimmy Butler won? Well, if I know I'm a starter, and I know I'm playing bench players in practice, yeah. why would I go extra hard for them to twist my ankle, tear my ACL or something, and I'm back here still with my max money on the sideline? That would make sense, yeah. Yeah, the only players trying hard are those third because they, players. Because it don't matter whether they get Because there's always so many spots. And they have, I think they made cuts today. That's probably completely normal. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah. When yeah. I used to come off the bench, I used to kill them, boy. Yeah. Man, I, I'm like, Coach, man, you see what I'm doing here, boy? You like, oh, you're going to come off the bench. You're going to be on the bench anyway. I'm killing these boys. Every day. So what does, uh, so that being said, um, well, I guess the coach should already be able to tell anyway, right? Some coaches know. Some coaches be like, okay, I'm going to try to work it out with my senior. But he can't, he can't stop that. Well, how do you feel about that? Because that's it's stupid. Like, trying to, like, oh, because he's a senior. That's stupid. You know. That's stupid. 
and, and then you're not making the best decision, but you're trying to appease. Like, prime example, when them saying that Lonzo is hurt, that's why Rondo was going to start. No, Rondo's better than Ball. Yeah. There's going to be a year when Zoe is better than Rondo. We know how long Aaron Rodgers had to wait to finally be the quarterback because they kept hanging on to Brett Favre, but now he's. It worked out. Know. Little you know. Yeah, it worked out. You can see. You can see glimpses of talent, but once talent starts to show, like every pl- every play, like dang, he saw that pass, he can read this. You gotta go ahead and play him. Yeah, and you already said they're gonna start off two and ten, three and ten. Uh, no, you're, they're gonna start off three and seven. So, and somebody yeah. saw the show. They talking about. Yeah, I saw you said that, but they almost beat the Warriors in preseason. I what did I tell you? I wasn't arguing. I was. Uh, did I tell you I was arguing? I said they almost beat who? <laughs> they beat the Warriors in preseason. Oh, okay. Uh, I was. Uh, I looked up the Vegas odds. What? Oh, okay. What the championship? Say? What is it? Uh, Lakers. Guess what? Guess uh, where? What? How high they're up? Yeah. How, what number do you think they are? Maybe six, four. They got them at four for money, cause LeBron. Well, they know people are probably gonna bet on there. Twelve yeah, to one. Dumb as hell. Twelve to one odds. Yeah, people gonna bet the on that. They gonna bet on that and lose their money. The only. Is Golden State at one to two odds, Boston at six to one, Houston at nine to one. And to be fair, those top three are oh. probably the only contenders. Did you know um the 76 has got Wilson Chandler? I didn't hear that. Oh wow. Bro, I heard that. I think I heard um but, Gilbert Arena say that. But does anybody any team outside of Golden State, Boston, and Houston have a shot at all? Win the title, yeah. So Lakers, seven sixty. Well, they're tied with the Lakers at twelve to one. Oh, okay. And then it drops down to twenty two yeah. to one for the Raptors. He was seven sixty now. Well, that's a, that's interesting. Bo. And they didn't have yeah. to give anybody up. I don't think so. If Markel Fultz and Wilson Chandler, Bo, them is buckets. Now they got a bench. Them is buckets. They got a bench for Boston now. That's what I was saying. I'm like, bro, they let them boys get Wilson Chandler. That's a bucket. Like, and Boston going to have to bring it. Boston, yeah. I thought it was going to be easy for Boston. Yeah, it's not a gimme now. No, no, not with that. I hope I hope 76 would beat them. Man, I think they can, bro. I hope they do. I don't want Boston to be in the finals. Because if... It's, it's, it's going to be an argument in Boston this year. Because I told you. Oh, when the, uh, yeah, if it doesn't work out, told, if they don't I make the finals. You, I told you, Terry Rozier, listen to me, man. I know you probably ain't watching Tell Call, but somebody needs to tell you, get the hell out of Boston. Well, he He's too to good. Tra- he has to be traded. He's too good. And he's going to be unrestricted. They're always unrestricted, right? Yep. He's too good. Because he's going to like him. Up. How many times do you see Kyrie come out here? Well, he has to come out. He has to come out. Yeah. But Kyrie don't have to. Not when he's healthy, though. That's what I'm saying. When he's healthy, he probably going to be out there. It's going to be like, man, you let me and Terry Rozier play so, 16 minutes tonight. So, um, can Kyrie, uh, does he have a chance of being the MVP? Hell no. Best player in the best team? That's that. You ain't. You, you got to win 50 plus games. Dude. Well, is it Boston going to do that? No, I'm saying you got to win 50 plus games and be. Like doing some astronomical numbers again. Yeah, like James Harden. Yeah, they won like right. how many games they won? Fifty over fifty five. Well, he didn't play. He we got injured. So, but I'm just saying, looking at him now, he can't. So he'll years. never be the MVP. Never. If anything, shooter. Like I say, he's it's, just really. If LeBron didn't get a shooter, then LeBron, yeah. LeBron would be MVP. So Kyrie is just like really good, and at the end of games, but. MVP is usually a numbers, yeah. a stat, a stat award, mm-hmm. and he's not trying to get triple doubles. He's not. It'd be the dude we the Greek the freak. And he doesn't have that gimmick that Harden had to get uh, himself to the line every time. Yeah, it'd be Greek the freak on Anthony Davis. Well, I actually looked that up too. The um, odds on the uh, MVP. It'd be Greek the freak on Anthony Davis. Uh, number yeah. one is LeBron. Yeah. And uh, plus three hundred. And we get a shooter. And then. A tie for second at plus 400 
Anthony Davis, Giannis, yeah. and uh, James Harden. Yeah. And then it falls to... James Harden not going to win back to back. No. He... They gave him that. He, he, he almost did it with it yeah, last they, year. They ain't gonna give it to him. They gonna give it to somebody new. So yeah, I think they, they're Davis. always going after somebody new. If Anthony Davis don't get it, he leaving. He leaving on the Pelicans. Yeah, him or Giannis, it, but they gotta have a good season though. I mean, a win. I gotta win. They already got the stats. They, they just gonna gotta win. win. They gonna win. And then Kevin Durant. I always wonder why why does nobody say Curry can win another MVP. When he actually be scoring like I that. think he's going to really step back up this year. Because he, he gave Durant two years to... And then Curry got injured last year a little bit. So if he can stay healthy... Steve Curry need to let him chill out. He don't need to try to win all the games. They going to beat the Bulls. Well, right well the Bulls. they obviously didn't need home court advantage. No. Last season, they beat the Rockets. That was stupid. At, they beat the Rockets in Game yeah. Seven on the road. But he be pushing them so hard that they get hurt. Oh, you know, Nick Young said they don't practice. Well, you mean, saw it? Oh well, yeah, because they haven't had a lot of personnel changes. So because it, it was like, uh, yeah, you went at them boys in practice. He was like, we really didn't practice in Golden State. Yeah, because while their main guys are young, they got like older players like Iggy. He's been and then uh, Iggy and uh, Sean Livingston. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's crazy. That's I believe crazy. it's like why? I mean, you're not doing anything if you're not going to change anything. Okay, why why Steve Kerr make them go after that record that year and made them lose? I thought the players. Won. No, he he asked the players, "Is this what you want to do?" That was stupid. He asked the players. He's a coach though, but he's like in the second year. He should have said both. We don't need no Bulls record, bro. We don't need that. Yeah. The boys was killed by the time they got to the playoffs. Because he looked like he was kind of like. But he, that's why he left it up to the players. But he probably should have stepped in and said. So why they lost? No, that's what I'm saying. He probably should have stepped in and said, don't do it. You know? I'm saying you could blame Draymond Green on getting suspended. But them games would have been close if the boys had their energy. And but then, every game was close. Yeah, then uh, who got injured? Um, what's that guy's name? Got injured? Their center. Oh, it's my bogey. They didn't win no game after Bogey got hurt. No. No. He got injured in game six, I think. They don't win no game after that. And he was a big part of the team. He started. Defense. It just but see, passer. But see, he, they was working so hard. To get illegal, that illegal screener. They always talk about that. I know. You that, see, you saw, that, that was just a... You saw a preseason how they keep calling on the screen. Now Curry got kicked out of the game the other day. Durant got kicked out of the game. Oh, wow. They called three offensive fouls on Curry for setting back screen. And he just well, cursed them they're really gonna, Kirk got kicked out too. Are they really, if they're going to really enforce that. That's what he's doing. What was that? You posted a move on Facebook that James Harden did. He like he had the ball and then jumped to the side, went around the back, no dribble, and then shot it. So I'm like, legal. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest stretch of the... <laughs> did you see the referee say it? Yes, yeah, he's right behind him. No, no, I'm saying after the game, did you see what the, the head referee said? What did he say? Look at the play again. He yeah. dribbled one time and took his two steps. Yeah. Just because y'all didn't see the ball and the ball went behind his back, it's a legal yeah. play. We can't call something that we can't because you make it so yeah. I mean, I'm 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 fine with it. That was just it was tough. That was his ninth three. That's tough. That's crazy move. To That's off. but he can do that in preseason. Oh yeah, he, but he obviously he, worked he, on he it. He's gonna he try. He obviously he gonna try that. Yeah, anytime you can like hide the ball. And then I said, oh, boy, was going to win rookie of the year. Who was that? Miles Bridges. Yeah. I'm taking that back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm taking that back. So, preseason, he, uh... No, no, not because of him. Do you see that boy in Dallas? Oh, point guard? oh, yeah. Yeah, I think everybody's really high on him now. When he do it in preseason, I'm like, you can see he played professional about six years. Since he was 14... Yeah, like a lot of those guys from overseas, they they do fourteen, playing which is weird. How can they can play professional? Well, that's a different country, though. Yeah. He was killing, he was killing. Oh, that step back is mean. What are college sports like in other countries? Do they? I wonder how that works. They don't have college sports. They don't have college. Though. They have to get a visa to come in. I didn't know that. I, I, never, I never thought about that. Yeah. No college no sports. College. They got colleges, but no sports. When I was over there, I told you. Not, not even soccer or anything? When I was over there, I had to play on my team. I said, boy, you need to get a, you need to go to the States, bro. Yeah. He's like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. I said, boy, you don't need to be here. He's like, they're not going to give me a visa to go. 
He's like, they gonna keep him in the country. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. And he was tough too. Yeah. Shoot threes, dribble, every jump. I was like, damn, boy. Yeah, I guess that's why Matumbo and all Patrick yeah. you know, they always had to come. Did you, you, you did you see the um the ESPN story on um the number one pick? Aiden? No. He came from Australia, I think. And uh he was twelve years old, paid money to go to basketball camp. Twelve years old, one of the coaches saw him. Let's get him in the United States. Sent him in the United States, and he's been here ever since. And now he's number one draft pick. They saw it, and that's my point. They saw that at 12. Yeah. Well, yeah. clumsy, no skills, nothing. So what What? What does the coach see? But he see? was six goddamn four. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was say, what does the coach see at 12 years old? Six four. Yeah, I can see that as a coach. But you're not going to miss that. You give me somebody clumsy, I'll take them to the league too, that's all. Because it, it all comes together. I gotta keep checking the time because uh, when I went to upload the, what is the it? podcast on Facebook, oh, I could do it, but like when I uploaded it, it was upside down. Because like last time I, I was recording in the selfie mode, apparently when you do that, it uploads upside down. Like people complain when their pitches, like when they take selfies, apparently they upload. Oh, I never knew that. It's weird. So I had to go back and put it on a laptop. And then go upload it. So know. that was that was that's why I just went to YouTube. I was like, I ain't gonna sit here and uh, re uh, render this video. That's gonna take a, that's gonna take over an hour to like just. I was like, do I just make it upside down? And yeah. Like, I was like, I don't know. So I'm taking a chance on recording it this way and see what happens. So that was just a mistake you make with the new format. Yeah. So. And, and uh, well, you got something else? Oh no. We there's, there's something else going around on Facebook now. There's a video of Kobe versus Michael Jordan. Somebody cut up some film and put it together and said they actually played each other. Yeah. In '97, '98. They got guarding each other. Yeah. And so they got the highlights of Jordan killing him. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, I told y'all Jordan was better than Kobe. I told you Kobe couldn't guard Jordan." Nineteen years old. That's going to my point of being young. Oh, but course. Kobe gave him thirty-three. Of in course, Chicago. Of course. A. MVP Jordan is going to kill a 19-year-old Kobe. Especially when you hype it up like that. And, and Jordan has no choice but to make a Somebody step. Whoever made that video, I was just like, Kobe. 19. Yeah. Jordan. But I'm su- like, I'm surprised that's not such a well-known. Like, they only played each other in the regular season. Four times because they're east mm-hmm. and west. So, and Kobe was coming off the bench both years. He still wasn't even a starter on his own team. He got some moves on Jordan, but it wasn't like crazy moves. But was like, uh, you know, it was just he just young. that was his moment to really play yeah. against. Yeah. Then when Jordan went to the Wizards, they got highlights of that. And Kobe had 55 that game. He set the record for three pointers against Jordan, 12 three pointers. But that doesn't count, probably right. Jordan was old. It doesn't count. So it doesn't count if Jordan's old, but it counts if Kobe's young. Kobe but that, that counts because he's Now you see what I mean when yeah. I say age. What, what, oh, where was Jordan at 18, 19? Oh, North Carolina. That's my point. So he wasn't beating you're, it. You're proving my point. Jimmy Butler. Yeah. We're the same situation here. Yeah. It's, it, people don't see it as that because they, they, that's why I say people who don't know the sport. I never yeah. say y'all don't know the sport. Yeah. Y'all know the sport, but y'all don't look at the sport like basketball players look at the sport. You just look at it, and you just look at highlights. Damn, Kobe had an afro. Oh, Jordan was killing him. Boy, you know how young he was? Well, oh, but you're not going to say when Kobe ran off how many games? 40 or 50 plus? Oh, uh, yeah. In 2000, when they, when they went back to oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was like nine straight 40-point games. But that was after Jordan retired. No, Jordan was there. That last, you see, that yeah, was last that year. was 2003. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, it don't count. No, it don't count. Because he, he, he was, Jordan never played for the Wizards. Yeah, that never happened. He averaged 20 something. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I saw he averaged 20. He was an all star both years. He averaged 30. He Jordan was 30 shots a game. Jordan was an all star those two years with Washington, but apparently he never played that year. He never played one season. Only thing, Jordan, only thing I can say Jordan did, he had the highest on. Uh, salary in one year 
Oh, two years? Well, Westbrook's going to break that. We were like 47 million. Westbrook, in his final year of his contract, is going to make 50 million. I think Chris Paul contract got but, on the end, too. But for inflation, it probably it won't, he it still doesn't equal, touch Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Because that, that was like back then. 98. $33 million in 1998. After a career of making Did like, you see the guy, Bo, when you get time, Google the dudes who are in jail for stealing money from NBA players. Oh, wow. Google it, Bo. Bo, there are people, Bo, there's a dude that stole 77 million from Kevin Garnett. Jesus. Like just robbed him? Or yeah. Like, he was working for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like an agent or whatever. Yeah, like that. there's a guy in jail no, right now. They just like break into their house. There's a guy in jail right now. For, he stole 30-something million from Tim Duncan. Jesus. See, this is what I say. I'm a basketball person. I actually look at stuff like that. And that's People why, look at and stuff that's like, why um, like, the Ball family, they don't want any agents. Do you see how much money that is? That's ridiculous, bro. Somebody can steal seventy-seven million from you, and you don't even know. So, so they, so they, so um, Duncan. Not only did he lose that money, he also got a divorce. So that's even more money he's losing. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, he got divorced like three years ago. Back when they won the title, two thousand fourteen. Because he had a girlfriend, he was bringing his girlfriend to the game. Yeah. Wow. So he was having his kids there, but not his wife. But now I see. Spurs, all this stuff coming back on them. Y'all say Kawhi wasn't so hurt. Now look at Murray. Now he hurt. Yeah. And then you trade Tony Parker. So stupid. Now Patty Mills by himself. <laughs> See what I mean? See how stuff come back on you? And then Murray was the truth, too. He was young. I mean, Tony Parker gave him a job. He's like, yeah, you better than me. You can start. Yeah. Now he hurt. I wonder how long Parker's going to stay in Charlotte. He'll probably be one year. I'm going to see them play. They're going to they play. Um, my, I'm going to watch them when they play Miami at home, and when they play, um, I'm going to see uh, Trey Young. Apparently, I saw that on uh, game winner he had from 40 feet. I just want to see how quick he is in person. If it's really like, because he looked quick as hell on TV. So I want to see how quick he is in person. Because when I saw Kimber Walker for the first time, I'm like, God damn, wow. how? Can, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all think people quick. Look at him. How you gonna guard that? And he's always like just missing the All Star game too. He probably he probably get there. Yeah, because this is year his money year. He gonna go hard this year. You know what I saw? And, um, you know the Sacramento Kings. Mm -hmm. Been a lottery team since two thousand six. I'm glad because they know they got some good players. I'm it's glad. Crazy. I'm glad you say that. As a Detroit fan, I kind of feel better about. Well, let you say that. I need to go look and see when they play the Hornets at home. Yeah. Them boys got Bagley. The dude they just drafted from, from uh, Duke. Giles. Okay. Um, The left handed point guard. Um, well, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, what's his name, man? I can't believe they from Kentucky. I can't believe y'all forget these boys' names. Yeah, these boys got squads. I'm going to see them play. So you think they'll finally make the playoffs? Nah, I wouldn't. They're still too young. I don't know, man. The Lakers might get that age spot. I already told you. They'd be a play in I said three. It, what? Even Vegas agrees with me. Y'all hear this? To a three spot. Yeah, tough calls, bro. The tough calls podcast. Without a shooter. Okay. <laughs> well, now, I mean, well, like they're not going to pick up anybody between LeBron, Magic. That's what I said. By the trade deadline, yeah. they better get somebody. Yeah. If they don't, the Brian and Magic will figure it out. If they don't, how about that story about Kobe telling TV Bus, you got to fire Mitch Kupchak and your brother. Otherwise, nobody's coming to the Lakers. Did and, they do it? And back then, that's when, uh, back when Kobe was still playing, Kupchak said, oh, Did we can never move on until Kobe's gone. Oh, exactly. So now, he came back. Yeah. Now look. business. Is now look. Business? Yeah. Got rid of those two guys. Hey, hey, who, who, who is Kobe? <laughs> Who's Kobe? Nobody. Shit. I will never. I man. I don't even like Kobe. I never like Kobe. But oh no! Why not? Oh, I just never like personality. He just looked too much like Jordan. 
Oh, because he wasn't his own person. Yeah. I can't. I, I'm not hating on him because of his talent. I'm just hating on him because it's like, damn, you even waved your hand. You used to stand there and chew your gum like that man. That ain't your dad. <laughs> you chewing gum like that man, bro. Like, yeah, but so many people wanted to be like Jordan, and then he actually came the closest. Now everybody who wanted to be like Jordan is mad. They really want to be like Kobe. You can't say you want to be like Jordan. No, you want to be like Kobe. Cause you weren't even around the era of Jordan. You saw Kobe. You ain't see Jordan. Nah, I wanted to be like Jordan. How you were trying to be like Jordan? You never saw him play. And then you went to his highlights on YouTube and said. And then you, when you watch him, when you watch him play, they're not playing like Jordan. Cause like Jordan, well, they only watch the highlights, but Jordan, he was just most of his points came up running that triangle, getting easy buckets. Mm-hmm. He shot such a he 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 was always able to have a career over fifty percent shooting. True. Because most of his shots were within 12 feet. He was always getting inside of the lamps. And he he was, he jumped so high. Yeah. He, now everybody jumps high, but back then everybody wasn't jumping. And then, what was it, um, he rarely shot three pointers, too. Oh, I got a good question. Who, who, oh, who yeah, did he was sleeping to? Oh, I thought you meant a trivia question. We yeah. had a couple of trivia questions before. Yeah. Uh, my sleeper team? Well, I always said the Lakers, right? That's a sleep. You don't even think that makes a Barely make the playoffs, right? A playing game to get in the playoffs. Yeah, I think they're going to be third. So who you sleeping is for the East? Let me think about the East. Oh, man. I don't like a lot of teams in the East. Let me think about them. Because you can't go... They already have Toronto, Boston, Philadelphia. So, um... Not Atlanta, not Orlando. I guess Miami. I don't know. Nah, I was thinking more like Washington or Bucks. I go more. Wait to Washington. Now. Yeah, yeah. I go with the Bucks. Yeah, yeah. As I don't know, was, I, th- I feel like for Giannis, like, is he a playmaker? Is he? Does he have to be a playmaker for them to no, be great? He need to get a jump shot. So he could be great without playing. He's having forty a game. You get a jump shot. He probably could. Well, he he well he was he was posting pictures of himself working out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Season. He was shooting. Just so he's getting stronger. Big as hell. Yeah. Nobody can be able to stop him with Tarek. Does he shoot. have a brother? Is this just like him? Is he? Well, he's skinny. How old is he? Seventeen. Oh, it's high school still, right? He in the league, isn't he? Oh, I don't know. Oh, he I don't said know. seventeen. I don't I know. Think I don't know whether he got drafted. I just saw he had a brother, so I, was I just saw the highlights. I thought he got picked up. I hope he wasn't doing that in high school. Oh, he said, I don't know how old he is. I, I just saw highlights. Just saw. Yeah, I saw some highlights. I was like, man, I wonder if that's high school. Maybe that's why he do look like that. Uh, he was doing the same thing Giannis was doing. <laughs> Going coast to coast. And the last thing I have here is um, Ben Wallace was interviewed, talked about post career depression. Like, he like, you always see Kevin Love always up yeah, yeah, coming yeah, out yeah. of uh, mental yeah, yeah. illness. But Wallace said, he, like, once your career is over, you know, you got nobody calling you. You have a bad day. You can't just go play basketball. Mm-hmm. So, um, but it doesn't look like he had anything planned after his career. Yeah, like Shaq is on TNT. Yeah. You know, like all these I other guys get, get like Grant Hill. Can Bill Wallace read? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna say he can't read. But there was, there was something say, back then about I'm not gonna be, be honest. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be 